out of Bob and Claire back there. Mom Michelle Bright has never known the pain of losing a child, but she does have sympathy. My youngest son was uh, born premature and was in the ICU for um, a month. That boy is now 17. In all this time, she's wanted to find a way to help parents who don't get to see their kids grow old. We'll start with Judy's. Inspired by this posts she the, saw um, online, report. Bright dusted off her sewing machine. I used to make all my kids clothes growing up. For the past year and a half, she's worked to transform donated wedding dresses into gowns for young children who pass away well before their time. Word quickly spread, then came the volunteers. I lost a baby myself many, many years ago, and there was nothing uh, like this. So Kathy it, Jensen and her sister Kim. I, I think a wedding dress is one of the most sentimental things that a woman can have. To date, they've turned 75 dresses into more than 150 tiny gowns. Um, the dresses keep coming, and so do the letters. Oh, actually, Gives me chills to my <laughs> core. This fabric that Kathy is cutting I would like you to accept my mother's wedding dress. Comes from a wedding that took place shortly after World War II. She was a nurse and he was a soldier and she took care of him. Several generations of women were married in it. And soon it will help a family heal during a profoundly difficult time. Please treat this dress with the love it deserves. Each dress brings its own story. These are the dresses that we have in stock now. So this is what we're down to. They're hoping for more donations, more volunteers. People always send to us messages and say, oh my gosh, what you guys are doing is such a blessing. But they don't realize is we can't do it without them. All these dresses started with a love story. A love they can only hope will be felt sure. by a family that's suffering. In Kirkland, so Sebastian Robertson, King 5 News.